、いい正解。The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage Chapter 58 Bodyguard This young lady Mo King was slightly stunned as he frowned while looking at the young female in front He knew that there were wealthy families that would not treat human lives as lives and would buy a servant like buying common livestock At this moment this young female's intention was most likely that she viewed him as a servant And a sense of displeasure formed in his heart. But, after seeing the other person's eyes, that displeasure was like a fog that instantly dissipated. When he saw this other person's eyes, they were not arrogant or filled with disdain. Instead, there was a touch of gratitude and respect in there which made him unable to guess. He unconsciously blurted out, Has this young lady seen this subject somewhere before? Shin Mia lightly sighed, No, then why? This person's brows are upright, and have an extraordinary bearing, naturally is a person with favorable luck. But, at this moment one would need to sell off one's precious sword that had accompanied for many years, so one was obviously at the end of the route. You are in dire straits, and urgently need money. But, if one were to give you the money, it would still not solve future problems. I, as a daughter of the formidable great general, would be able to introduce you to my father upon his return to the capital at the end of the year. With one's good martial arts skills, it would be a pity if it was buried. General Shen? Mo King was suddenly surprised. He did not think that the young female in front of him would be Shin Zin's daughter. Shin Zin's reputation in Ming Chi was something everyone knew, since he was the center stone of the battlefield. Males wanted accomplishments. If one were to follow this kind of general, Mo King felt as if the blood that was flowing in his body got much hotter. It is just, according to the rumors in the capital, Shen Miao was an idiot, and even though there was a restoration in the Chrysanthemum Banquet, the people who saw it were still very little. At this moment, when one sees it, the rumors were not necessarily true. If young lady is truly willing to recommend this subject, then this subject would naturally not decline. If there is an opportunity in the future, one would definitely return deep gratitude till death. Mo King also had a straightforward and magnanimous temperament, thus, he would not shirk off this opportunity. Seeing this scenario, Shen Miao smiled lightly and took a silver tail out from her sleeve and threw it to Mo King. She said, I do not need your deep gratitude till death, and only treat it as if you have sold your body of martial arts skills to me. Father will only return when the year ends, so in this period you would have to follow me back to the Shen residence. I would pretend to make you a guard in Shen's residence, but you must secretly protect me. When these words were heard by Mo King, he naturally was somewhat surprised. Mo King had also heard that in the large family, on the surface it looked like bouquets of flowers and piles of brocades, but Privately, there would be endless schemes and tricks. Seeing Shen Miao even mentioning protection, he knew that the young female was not as comfortable as she looked in the Shen residence. There was some shock in Mo King's heart since Shen Miao was Shen Zin's daughter. Why would the situation be difficult? But, because he had a calm temperament, he did not question, but only said, Would follow young lady's instruction. Take this mummy first to settle the emergency. Shin Miao continued Once your matter is completed, you must come to the Shen residence within three days. I will naturally arrange your position. Mo King once again cupped one fist in the other hand. He had a strong air of the pugilist world, and it was only when he left that Gu Yu and Gings frowned. Jing said, Young lady, This person's background is unknown, and if he has bad intentions, when he enters the Shen residence, one is afraid. Shin Miao headed towards the carriage, 
What is there to be afraid of? This kind of person is even cleaner than the people in the courtyard. Now the West Courtyard was infested with second and third household spies, and there were a pathetic number of her own people. Moreover, this Mo King was naturally not a stranger. Shin Miao sat on the horse carriage and sighed lightly in her heart. She did not think that she would be able to meet Mo King here after the rebirth of a lifetime. This Mo King was the commanding officer of the Imperial Guards. Originally he was recommended by Shen Xin as he had superior martial arts skills. When Shen Miao went to the Qin country as a hostage for those years, Mo King protected her as a bodyguard. If Mo King was not there to assist her, it would have to be very difficult to come back intact from the dangerous Qin country. Mo King was loyal to Shen Xin so naturally, he pledged allegiance to Shen Miao. But, unfortunately when Shen Miao returned to Ming Qi, because of the fights between her and Mai Furen, Mai Furen schemed against Mo King and placed a charge on him of molesting palace maids. Fu Zayu Yi had long wanted to get rid of Shen Xin's people. Thus, even with Shen Miao's thousands of blocking measures, it was still of no avail. She could only watch as Mo King died under those unwarranted charges. Now to be able to see Mo King again, she did not know that Mo King was in such a destitute situation. But, because of Mo King's hard-pressed situation, he could be rein in so easily. Shen Miao understood Mo King's temperament, he was the most loyal, and upright. The trip to Wo Long Temple in three days, she initially was thinking of using other methods, but, with Mo King, it would be more convenient. Upon returning to the Shen residence because of Shen Yu, and Shen King going to the Yi residence as guests, there was only Shen Miao in the residence. When she just arrived in the west courtyard, Gui Momo came up, and smiled with full of flattery. Young lady has returned. This old servant has let the kitchen made some sweet soup. Does young lady want to have some? Alright. Shen Miao said. Seeing that Shen Miao, who treated her coldly these days, started to pleasantly warm up. Gui Momo's heart was joyous as she quickly said, This old servant will bring it over. When Gui Momo brought the sweet soup over, Shen Miao was already in the room for a while. Gui Momo placed the bowl of sweet soup carefully on the table, and said with a smile, Young lady, the things for the trip to Wo Long Temple three days later are all prepared already. Is there anything else required? Old Shen Furen previously had made arrangements to go to Wo Long Temple three days later to pray for peace and tranquility for the entire Shen family. Ren Wan Yun would be bringing the three young ladies along and the rest of the people would not need to follow. Gui Momo was kept busy for these few days due to this matter. Shin Miao swept a look at her, and said with a not heavy or light tone, Momo is enthusiastic about this matter. Gui Momo froze, and then smiled, it is rare that young lady gets to go that far. Naturally, preparations have to be comprehensive. Naturally it would be comprehensive with Momo following, Shin Miao suddenly smiled. When Gui Momo saw that smile, it however made her heart uneasy. Second Furan arranged appropriately so naturally there would not be any mistakes. Gui Momo said, would in trouble, Gui Momo to thank second Shen for me. Shen Miao nodded her head, you can withdraw. Hearing this, Gui Momo then gave a sigh of relief and quickly said a few words before withdrawing. She did not know the reason, but, the current Shen Miao had become strong, and when she was with her, there seems to be an invisible coercion force that extinguished much of her arrogance. However, after she was out of the door, her spine straightened up, and she looked at the room with disdain before speaking with a soft voice, that only she could hear, after three days, 
See if you dare to be impudent in front of this old one. In the room, Shen Miao held the bowl of excessively sweet soup in her hands, and walked to the window. With a throw of her hand, half the sweet soup fell onto the plants by the window. Young lady, really want to go to that Wolong temple? Bei Lu asked hesitantly. Have to go. Shen Miao answered. It was this time, during her previous life, that she inadvertently heard Rong Jing Tang's maids talking, and came to know that old Shen Furin intended to marry her off to Prince Yu. The night before going to Wo Long Temple, she fled to the residence of Prince Ding, and threw herself in. Even though that decision was wrong, it accidentally prevented another disaster. And now, she will not flee nor hide and go to Wo Long Temple. Whoever wanted to see a show of her, she will make a botched up show out of the person. 